How important is that that person is thinking? Not very much. So, I, I, for my sins, I run a small YouTube channel where if you look for it, you'll find advice on admissions that people asked me in previous years. Um, and um, if I look on YouTube for stuff about personal statements, this time of year, there's plenty of interest in that. Uh, some of the stuff, well, most of the stuff that I see is advice from people who got in and on the basis of their sample size of one, they say, this is what should go in the personal statement because it worked for me. Now, I'm on the other side, like these guys, I look at uh, the, you know, 150 uh, people who applied to Trinity and have to read those things. And the personal statement is never really a decider of anything, especially the personal statement that says, I want to do artificial intelligence when I grow up, because everybody else also says that. It's not something that highlights anybody against anybody else. The stuff that is there that makes a difference is all stuff that is factual. It's just highlight something. It's somewhere else in your CV. I got a gold medal in International Olympic Informatics. Okay, that's definitely make you stand out. And that's definitely something you should cite in the, in the paper. Something that you aspire to, something that you want to do, should not be in the statement because it doesn't tell us anything. But something that you've done, I mean, from when I was little, I was fascinated by computers and therefore I wrote my own operating system. Yeah, write that down. Okay, stuff that you have done that sets you yeah. out from other people. Uh, you don't have a lot of space, so make it count. Uh, stuff that's totally irrelevant, like, you know, I got first prize in violin. Well, good for your soul and very good, but it doesn't advance you in uh, getting a place in computer science. It's not like the U.S. University where, you know, I, I'm a champion of basketball. Yeah, yeah, then you get in. No, no, it's nothing to do with that.